Namaste guys in this video I'm going to show how to make a dynamically spring that basically moves when a load is fall on it so let's get started so first of all click on insert components click on new part select the new part and click on the workspace click on the edit component select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view draw a square of 2 of 100 by 100 mm it's basically a cube press escape the sketch and go to features click on extrude wall space click the middle planes and enter the value of 100 mm the reason i am selecting the mid plane is that uh, it it will make my work easier during meeting so exit the edit component right click on it click on float so that we can move it now go to mates select delete this face first select the front plane click on the front plane ok make it coincide after that select the top plane and top plane uh, make it parallel ok and select the right plane right plane click ok so as you can see I can't move it uh, left right I can just move it only upward and downward direction ok now press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view now again uh, what I'm gonna do is first move this part little move forward okay now click on the new part click new part basically now I'm going to draw my spring click on the edit part uh, and go to sketches draw a straight line it's asking for the plane select the front plane from here now draw a line press escape after that exit the sketch now again select the front plane click on sketch draw a circle uh, some people might wondering why I just don't draw a circle on the same plane uh, well if you watch my previous videos you know the answer if you don't know well then check out my previous videos link is in the description now go to features click on swap post space uh, select the profile okay short post space Okay, the reason I am not able to selecting is because I didn't click on rebuild so first rebuild now click on the short post space select the circle as you can see I am able to select now after that select this line go to options click on uh, click profile twist click on specify twist value click on number of revolutions enter the number of revolution as per requirement here I am entering the value of 10 while it is uh, 6 6 is ok click okay now to do the animation part what I need to do is first exit the assembly edit component press ctrl plus 8 now go to the motion study here what you need to do is move this time bar to 5 seconds select this box move it downward direction just here okay and click on the rebuild Okay, I have done a mistake silly mistake so right click on it click on new motion study so first move it five seconds forward and move this box a little downward now click on rebuild okay as you can see it compressed now move this time bar to 10 seconds and move this box upward and click on rebuild now move down here click on the animate as you can see when the box is, is moving is dynamically moving the spring now it's going up to direction here you see the gap so you can uh, what you can do is to maintain this gap uh, like 
right click on the motion study create new motion study now click on five sec uh, first move this drag bar to five seconds move it little downwards click on rebuild after that move it to 10 seconds just move a little upwards okay click on rebuild now click on to animate and make sure guys as you can see the animation is going on that you watch our another cool videos for example like how to make this uh, awesome cross lift mechanism or scissor lift mechanism uh, foot power hand sanitizer and this awesome shelf design that I have created in sold works here you can see the design how I animated so I'm selecting the front plane and you see the animation see it's looking quite good and there are another videos like uh, quick uh, worth it mechanism and this is the mechanism wheel uh, and I'm sure you're gonna like it uh, it's basically sheet metal tutorial and this is a, another wheel rotating mechanism and how to bend a wire animation make sure you guys you like and watch these videos to motivate the uh, to motivate me thanks for watching and have a great day Namaste.